In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to cut your 3D printing times in half with this admittedly kind of stupid modification. Let's get started. Welcome back to Maker's Muse, guys. So some of you may remember I printed this rocket recently on the Raze N2 Plus. So this is a rocket that I modeled uh, based off the Repcon rocket in Fallout New Vegas and it took roughly 35 hours to print despite being completely hollow. Now that's because even at 0.3 millimeter layer heights, the Raze N2 Plus has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, actually has two of them. So 35 hours is actually a really short print considering what you can actually do on these machines. A 90 hour 3D print is not unheard of on the Raze N2 Plus. But me being Maker's Muse, I am kind of impatient when it comes to printing times. So I thought to myself, okay, 0.4 millimeter nozzle takes this long. What if I had a 0.6 or bigger nozzle? So again, being impatient, I didn't want to wait for a nozzle to show up. So I grabbed the smallest drill bits I had, which happened to be one millimeter. And I got the drill and I drilled out the nozzle to one millimeter. Sounds ridiculous, right? Like, why would you possibly want to do this? Well, it was a bit of an experiment and I've always wanted to see how prints would react. So the Raze N2 Plus is interesting because it actually has a really large heater cartridge compared to other 3D printers because you can imagine when you're trying to up your print speed by putting more plastic through and pushing it through and melting it, you kind of need the machine to keep up and pump even more heat into that filament to melt it in time. So the Raze N2 Plus actually has that heater cartridge and it seems to be capable so I thought I'd give it a shot. So my first tests were kind of interesting. I thought I would actually try printing um, this little uh, octopus that I like to test out quite a lot. This took literally 10 minutes. Like basically it did the brim and that was probably the longest part. Then it just pumped it up. This is at 0.8 millimeter layer heights. It's really rough. You can feel the layers, you can see them, but it's actually not too bad. But it's not really the point of making a print uh, have a one millimeter nozzle, is it? It's still a small print. So I started trying to uh, scale things up. Some of you may have seen, I teased a screenshot in the Idea Maker software of this. This is a death claw head. And this is a bust, again, printed at 0.8 millimeter layer heights with the one millimeter nozzle. It actually came out really good. It's heavy because of course the machine's pumping out a lot more filament at once, but it's actually not too bad. So I thought I'd try to scale it up and print a huge one. And um, well, that one failed, that one failed, and that one failed. And with this machine and this size nozzle, that's a lot of wasted plastic. So what's going on here? Well, it seems to me that at this size of nozzle, one millimeter, the slicing software doesn't really know what to do. Looking at these prints, it's the infill that's failed. It's actually the infill's pulling away from itself and uh, it's catching on the nozzle and being one millimeter thick nozzle uh, extrusion, it's obviously too much to overpower the extruder and it starts losing steps and fail. Okay, so fair enough, I can't supersize my death claw head, but what else can I do? What about vase or vase mode printing? Well, yeah, it can actually do that. So this is the first test I tried and as you can see, it's a bit of a failure. This is again, me being greedy, pumping out filament at a uh, 0 0.8 millimeter layer height, but then I tried 0 0.4 and it actually turned out really nice. So why would you bother? Like 0 0.4 millimeter uh, layer heights is actually not that coarse compared to me printing uh, 0 0.3 on a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle. This is a one millimeter nozzle doing 0 0.4. Well, it's actually laying down a thicker line. So when these vase mode prints get bigger, a 0 0.4 millimeter thick wall, it's kind of flimsy. So at that size, it's actually pretty tough. And you know, this is quite strong and didn't take too long. Actually, the, the print itself took about two hours or so. And most of that was just in this base. Uh, the actual wall thing, walls was actually like half an hour or so. And spurred on by the success of the Vasmo print, I did this, which is a watering can designed by Schmied on uh, Thingiverse. And I scaled it up and it printed beautifully. This print is phenomenal in the, the, the PLA that the rays N2 Plus came with, just a red PLA, standard, nothing special, printed in vase mode. And it's, you know, it's got a really good texture to it, but it's waterproof and I can use it to water, you know, my night cactus. I can use it to water my succulents. I can use it, even use it to water my mint bush. 
So it seems that the vase mode printing is a lot more successful than trying to print and stop and start at various points with support material and that sort of thing. So my final test was to take the rocket and try to turn it into a huge pot for plants. And this was the result. This took five hours, so not very long at all. And it was printing fast. I mean, you can see in the footage how quickly the machine is sucking down filament. It's absolutely insane. But sadly, this print is, to be honest, terrible quality compared to what I was getting out of these smaller prints. And I think it's to do, again, with slices not really being designed to work with nozzles this size, but also it's quite flimsy at the top here. Um, and I could see as it was printing, it was catching and you know, pulling these areas away. Like every time it changed direction, that would cause a certain bit of filament to sort of raise up and then it would catch on that. So although it started out quite nicely, it got really rough towards the top, which is actually kind of disappointing. So what's the conclusion to this experiment? Should you go and drill your nozzle out to one millimeter or buy a bigger nozzle for that fact, for that matter? Like you can buy one millimeter nozzles on eBay for filament. You can even buy two millimeter nozzles for three millimeter filament, which uh, my buddy Aiden, XYZ Aiden, did. And you can check his video out there of him experimenting with large nozzle diameters. But in my experience, at least, printing stuff like this, absolutely made for it. If you wanna print stuff like this for markets and things, you're gonna save time, so much time, by changing to a larger diameter nozzle, and you'll get parts that are stronger. And in, at least in this case, it's waterproof as well with a vase mode print, which is pretty impressive. But if you wanna print stuff that has any substance to it, where it's got infill and support material, then yeah, I cannot recommend this in the slightest. For that sort of thing, I will be putting a smaller diameter nozzle on, probably a 0.5 to be honest, 0.4 is still a bit too small in my opinion for a machine of this size, but I'm not really gonna recommend people doing this to their machines, especially if you have a standard size heater cartridge, because you're pumping so much more plastic through, it's unlikely to keep up, you're gonna have to slow your print speeds down, which then defeats the purpose. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this random experiment video on Maker's Muse. I certainly did. Um, I'm gonna use this quite a lot for my, my plants. Um, and it was lots of fun <laughs> just seeing what a one millimeter nozzle could do. Uh, if you did enjoy this video and wanna see future 3D printing tips, tricks, reviews, and crazy wacky projects like this, hit that subscribe button. Helps us out a huge amount. And also I wanna say a big thanks and shout out to my patrons who have been wildly patient and very understanding with the current crazy schedule that I run these days. I really do appreciate it, guys, you keep this channel going. And I look forward to seeing you all again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Here's the latter half of the 20th century. And man has sent rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit. He has actually...